So this is my production crew for this on-floor review of what I think are some pretty awesome 511 pants. It's called the Striker Pant. We just had a super motivated, super knowledgeable guy from the 511 booth here, but corporate won't let him do the on-camera stuff. Right. I asked him, I was like, dude, just do it. He's like, ah, I can't do it. So I guess we have to What's do it. <laughs> This is an updated tack light pant from, from what I can gather. They have a two-way stretch fabric on it so it will stretch horizontally and yet it doesn't have elastic in it that will wear out or lycra. Also notice a different pocket cut. It's not just a slant pocket, it's a notch pocket. Here's your knife attachment with a suplex nylon reinforcement on it. The stitching as all 511 products are is excellent. You can't improve it. That's a foam pocket or a knife pocket, however you want to use it. Tunnel waistband, like before, we saw that in the tack lights. We all have those, right? This is a double AR mag cargo pocket if you want to carry that. And what I like they did is they moved it higher on the thigh so your moment arm isn't down here. So when you have weighted mags down, as you start to run, they're up higher. I've always said that if you're going to wear a drop down, this is a pistol I'm talking, you're going to wear it right here. Don't wear it down here because you, when you start running, that's all that mo mass you got to get in motion. These pockets have also been moved up. So they're higher. They got a radius flap on them. Velcro like we've seen before. I'm digging it. And you're going to see the same colors. They probably still have the pockets for the foam knee pads if you want to put those in. Their colors are most excellent. This is their Traverse pant right here. This is also a really cool pant and here's why. It's coming from actually the mountaineering side of the house. This is a mountaineering fabric. It's been in the ski world. There's L.O. Bean pants that use this. It's really comfortable. It is a four-way stretch fabric here. Um, let's see what they're calling it. Everyone calls it something different. It's the same fabric though. You can see the coloration on it. It's kind of that mud coloration that's excellent. They do have a pocket reinforcement for your knife here. These are mesh pockets here, not in the striker, so they're going to breathe well. I have found the mesh will cut on you over time. There's several of my pants, both from Ella Bean and other makers I've had, that you're going to have to sew that up over time. I'm not sure about this. Cargo pocket looks like it's riding higher, like the striker pant. Let's see if they have mag. No, they don't. I wouldn't want it anyhow. They got some loops in here. They have elastic loops for it. Um, but the problem with this is since it's such a bouncy fabric, if you weigh it down with like two pounds of AR mags, it's going to be all over the place zip pocket in the back. This is a really cool pant. This is basically a tactical pant from the mountaineering community. The disadvantage is uh, it will snag. This will snag and the threads will pull out on it. If, you, if you're crawling around the dirt and the weeds, this is not going to be nearly as durable as this. So this is a 65 poly 35 cotton uh, weave and as you can see it's kind of a the ripstop gridlock weave. That's a durable pant. These ones here, that one's like the cargo, whatever they're calling it. I'm not too stoked on those. Because those are cotton canvas pants. I don't think they breathe well. I think they wear well. I, don't, I think they're heavier though. This is going to be a lighter weight fabric. This weighs nothing. So if you're doing like a tactical course and it's 90 degrees out, I'm wearing that. It's, it's not even close. This is a, a real tree Tack Light Pro. So this is the old Tack Light Pro that you saw, right? Look how cool that is. I still love the Tack Light Pro. But if you see the difference in the placement of my pocket, see this one right here, how high it is versus this one, the Tack Light Pro is lower. I really like the pocket placement on that better. Yeah. And then here's a camo pant. T this is their TDU series at 511. I do want to end with this. If you have a female shooter, and I want to get Mrs. Nut and Fancy a, a pair or two of these, this is a cool pant. For women, it's a serious pant. So this is going to have that same fabric that you saw in the striker pant. So it has a two-way stretch on it. Notice that it's a very, it's still a, here I am selling like a, like I'm in the women's fashion, fashion, fashion industry. But I like that it has a female styling on it. So there's no flat pocket on it. You still have a pocket behind so she can put her mags here. I'm sure competitors are using this. That's what they're modeling right here. It has a standard kind of jean look to it and yet you have the functionality of a tactical pant. 
So you have, notice the pocket cut is like a jean pocket, right? And this is, it's riveted for strength. You can put your cell phone in here. You can put a knife in here if you want. It's a great color. It's not a tactical color. Even Mrs. Nothing Fancy likes this pair of pants, don't you? I do. And she will not wear tactical stuff, will I you? won't. But I wear these to the desert shooting. Yeah. I think I need a pair. Those are cool pants. So the winds from what I'm looking on the pant rack here in 511 are going to be the Sears pants. That's hands down a wonderful set of pants. Uh, set. That is an awesome pair of pants for the female shooter. Or heck, just knocking around town, I would go with the striker pant and the traverse pant right here. This too, but this Amazing. Is like even Again, we see, I don't know, 511 doing some awesome products. Quick review. I'm not doing a tabletop on them either. That's that's it. That's your review. Okay. Uh, thanks to David Chow, by the way, for his Thank <laughs> you, David. loaning us. And uh, Jeff Law for a coloring Four shop. Sevens. Four sevens lights. Awesome. Dave's going to see this and be bummed I'm running to like a next torch K3. Oh, I shall not. <laughs> see ya.